And you can see I have lots of options, but you know that whole part of that dump slipped away and I walked that slip yesterday and it slipped clear to the creek and the creek flooded, washed all the stuff away. It's gone. So the dumps just like right to over here, this part of this dump where I'm finding all the marbles. I'm gonna go down in here, if I can get down in here and try to look for some marbles on a day like today. If I find anything down in here, it's gonna be a victory. But just kind of eyeballing this. I think I'm gonna cut some of this off right here. Try to get this out of here. Up in right up through here and around in like a horseshoe, I found tons of nice marbles. Almost a frame. So, man, windy. This come out of here right away. That's a cat and it's bisque and that would have been one of the coolest bisque figures ever look how detailed it is that too bad i'm gonna take it and cut that off i like it so up it has some damage but man isn't that cool it looks like ivory it's glass look at the green it's got to damage the ear the green ears look at it i'm gonna take it yeah look at all this old enamelware kitchen thermometer it says potato pie, fruit, fish, pudding, and the thermometer's here. That's still going. I think it's done now. Yeah, I'm getting heated up a little now. Oh, here's something. Looks more like a button. I don't know what this is. We'll see. It's a snap to like a pair of jeans. It's something E R C U L E. Never heard of that. Huh. Some kind of snap, I'd say off jeans or a jacket. Yeah, there's an old plastic tractor. It just needs wheels. 1950s. I'm on the right track for marble. Uh -huh. Yeah, this one, heck yeah. This one's marked. Some of them ain't. I found this before. It's a doll comb. Dolly's Pride. There's another one. Put that in a finds case. That's a nice find. I don't know, but look at that. It's some kind of charm and it's a four leaf clover. I thought it was silver. I don't think it is. I think it's just an old Cracker Jack charm. It's kind of cool. Look at this. There's a pocket watch. Come out of that layer, dry layer right there. It's beat up, but. It's, you can see the le numbers on the face. That's kind of cool. Huh. Yeah, it's crazy, the preservation on them dumps. I didn't scrub this or nothing. I just rinsed it under water and used a toothbrush. That's it. With light bristles on it. Look, it's a junior. It must be a kid's pocket watch. And it's got loose stuff in it i'd say it's the parts but the back would come off this and who knows there could be coins and stuff like this so i'll soak it and take it out i doubt there's nothing good in it but you never know staying off the marble throw away because it's such bad conditions digging in around these tree roots and it, the tree roots hold the stuff up off the ground look at this i think this is a rubber plastic goose from the night doll folks it is. This is an amazing one. It's Mark's rubber plastic. Oh, that's nice. Look how perfect. It's a duck. Well, this is a nice little find. Um, it's the rubber, like car tire rubber plastic. And it's, you know, that's early Mark's from an early Mark's play set of some kind. It's very nice. I'm happy to find stuff like this I found this laying here where I dug yesterday see I get this hole opened up this is probably where I'm gonna dig today this is continuation of these first clips um, but I found this laying out it's a standard oil of a high credit card probably from like 1958 it says Leon V Jones it's got a hole in it though but that's standard oil credit card look at that Leon Jones. Huh? There's a bromo seltzer. See, I'm finding lots of little. See, 
there's more blue bottles. There's a green one. There's stuff coming out of here. I'm looking for marble. This is Triple X and Super Celex. That's what that was. Look, Scalex. Rose Super Scalex. When have you seen that poison even on it? Look how nice the ACL is. Back in them root layers. It's perfect. That's a 50s cleaning ACL product that is nice. Look at that. That'll be a beautiful bottle. Wow, cleaned up with like a red cap on it. That'll be, you know, 10 bucks at the minimum. What's that say? Columbus, Ohio. Something Rose Chemical Products Incorporated, Columbus, Ohio. Huh. See that? I thought that was a silver coin, but I think it might be play money. It's right out of this fluff layer. It's hard to tell what's, this is a good spot. But I think it's play money or some kind of token. Man, I thought this was a silver coin, but that's pretty cool. Little play. Play dime. And I got the perfect spot for it. I'll be able to finish a frame with this. Well, this is completed now. I put that play coin right there. It looks nice in there. So, this is, this is good. Took a while to do this. It takes a while to find this stuff. And I, I had two of this one coin here, so I put the four leaf cleaver charm I found in this. It just adds a little bit more to it. That looks good. I'm gonna put it up and we'll pull it out on future videos. I'll start a new one now. It can be rough this time of year. I have been over there digging, found a few things. Just, I'm not seeing marbles. There was a marble throw away down this line and around that rock down through here. Look here. This could be very good. It looks good. Um, don't know what it is, but hopefully this is a daymaker. What can I see? It looks like it has red, maybe. Let's hope this is nice. Oh, it's it's a phantom conquer. Or a conquer. Oh, it's nice. All of them are nice. It has a window going in. It's a beauty. It's got a V on it, too, and it's a red one. I'll try to get to there we go. That's a pretty nice conquer. See all in there, all that nice window. It's gonna look nice in the frame. I don't know how many red ones I have in there. I don't know if any. So not bad. You know, that's what I'm looking for. It'll get better and I'll find handfuls once it dries out. See I got that push down. It's a lot easier digging when it's slightly phrased. See what kind of bottles I'm in. There's a grape at. And right there's a marble. What is this? This looks pretty decent. Whatever it is. It's a solid color one and it's got a ding out of it. And it looks like it will fluoresce. That stinks. Well, this marble that I just found in that last clip's all dinged up. And man, I thought that was going to fluoresce. That's why I brought it and didn't throw it over the hill. It does not. doesn't fluoresce at all. You can get fooled on it. Some, the ones that really look like they're going to fluoresce like this, don't. And then you'll find one that looks exactly like it and it will. I don't know. Later. Now there's a little cobalt blue vial with the cap on it. That'll be nice for my cosmetics frame. I've never seen one of them. What I came up here to do to dig this thing out. Now look in this good spot. I got this out of there. It took us about three hours over a couple days to dig that out. It was stuck in them roots. Now I can let this air out. You get down in here. See what's in here, face. Now this is kind of odd. It's a Clorox bottle, but when have you seen that one? And it's got the cap. That's kind of nice. It's worth three or four bucks. Getting up out of here. I've been down in there a little while, hour and a half probably. Probably three hours total for this video, so. Not many marbles, but I'm still finding them. And this is just horrible. Look at it. That conqueror looks nice. We'll see when we get in. Yeah, it's been pretty slow going, but this is what we're up to. That's a lot of marbles to dig for free. Um, right there's the conqueror from this video. You see there's another one. Well, all these are off that hillside. So you can see swirls, solid colors, just vitros, cat eyes. 
No clay marbles there yet. The other dump had lots. I'll, I'll go to another dump too here maybe this week. I dig on multiple dumps. I can go get into marble kings and there's really no marble kings in here. But I'm liking what I'm finding. Hopefully I can stay on them. Later. Yeah, since I showed you them, here's the, the frames I put together before that one. You can see I I found lots of real good stuff. Just wow, you know? Wow. So, I'm doing great this, you know, September to now. September of 23 to right now, I found all of these. That's a lot of marbles. Wow. Later. See this cheap toy aisle at Walmart? This is the disposable toys like I'm finding in the dump. You come here, here's marbles, two ninety seven for fifty marbles. They're still cheap. Look a big shooter. These look like cage cat eyes, but they're not. Probably made in Mexico or China. China. That's the foreign competition. See? These ain't bad looking, but they ain't nothing like the old ones, you know. But you see all this stuff, look down here. Here, 544, plastic army men, they're cheap to make. These are kind of pretty cool. But you want to look, there's a pole place out there. That's the kind of stuff I'm looking for in the dumps. Not too many cool marbles. I was hoping to see different packs and stuff, but that's all they got. Yeah, you know, look here, folks. Squirrel Man was out of peanuts, and it's his thing this time of year. He beefs up on peanuts in the winter months. And he's having some from the Walmart. That's why I had to go in there. The Squirrel Master's annihilating them. It's his favorite. He, Jimmy Carter's his favorite president. Because, you know, of course, Jimmy Carter was a peanut farmer. Squirrel Man loves him. Loves the peanuts. Later, folks. You know, I'm back from the dump from the second time and there's Squirrel Daddy getting him a peanut. Tell him, Squirrel Man, peanuts are the new favorite treats. Look, he's even going in his house to eat it because he wants the peanut. Hey, you after the peanut? I think somebody hid the peanut in his box. You saw that. And he's going to have the grape he got earlier. You eating the grape now because you have a backup plan with the peanut? That's what it was. He's having the grape. He got that one hours ago. Did you hide the grape? See what I got to deal with, folks. Look at this little guy. Look at his little hand holding the grape. What a good boy. What a good boy. Later, folks. Later, folks.